many of the key watcher public pools program because drowning is a leading cause of unintentional death in children under five and our research has shown that over the last 10 years 80 people have drowned at public pools in Australia, 25% of these being children under five and in a significant number of these cases um, adult supervision was lacking or non-existent. So we've developed the Keep Watch program because Supervision is one of the key strategies for preventing drowning, particularly in aquatic facilities where restricting access to water is not possible. So we've developed the Keep Watch at Public Pools program to educate parents and carers of children under five, but also aquatic facility staff in how they can educate parents and carers about active supervision at aquatic centres. The Key Watch at Public Pools program is a policy that mandates the active adult supervision of children at public pools. And the policy lays out different levels of supervision for children depending on their age and swimming ability. And it's supported by a range of resources that pools can use including entry signage, lifeguard cards, public service announcements and comprehensive training for aquatic facility staff. And the, the program really aims to help lifeguards educate parents that lifeguards are not babysitters and parents and carers of children have the responsibility themselves to supervise their children when they take them to a public pool. Lifeguards tell us time and again that supervising children is one of the most difficult parts of their job. Children are really quick, they don't understand the risks and they certainly don't understand the consequences of their actions. Lifeguards have the responsibility to supervise all patrons at an aquatic facility, not just children. So the Keep Watch at Public Pools program gives lifeguards the resources, the skills and the confidence to approach a parent who may be older than them, who may have more life skills than them, but is doing the wrong thing and encourages lifeguards to approach that parent, explain that they aren't actively supervising their child, that it is a condition of entry that they do so, and that lifeguards are not babysitters. Active parental supervision for a child under five or a non-swimmer is the parent in the water with the child, being within arm's reach of that child at all times, and actively engaging and having fun with that child in the water. Active parental supervision for children aged 6 to 10 is about constant visual contact, knowing where that child is at all times, but also having your swimmers on and being prepared to get wet in case anything should go wrong. For children aged 11 to 14, we recommend that parents physically check up on children regularly. That means going to the spot where they are in the pool and making sure that everything is okay on a regular basis. The Keep Watch at Public Pools entry signage is a really great resource to help pools implement the Keep Watch at Public Pools policy. It clearly outlines the supervision requirements for parents of children of different ages and to be implemented properly we really need receptionists or front desk staff to ensure that any patrons coming in with children have read and understood the policy so that once they get inside lifeguards merely have to reinforce these positive behaviours rather than re-educating the parents all over again. The Key Watcher Public Pools program also has quite a handy resource which is a lifeguard information card and instead of a lifeguard having to go up to a parent and say you're not actively supervising your child, it is a condition of entry, you are doing the wrong thing, this card uh, helps lifeguards educate parents on the risks that water poses to children and how actively supervising children around water can reduce the risk of drowning.